Okay. Any mistakes that you can find in this in these two methods? Is it complete, these two methods? Is it complete or not? How many of you think that it's, it's incomplete? Actually, it's incomplete. It means you have space to add, I mean, one or two statements. OK, how many subjects been registered here? Three. Here? Two. And you have another state, right? Number of number subject, right? So here, you can put what? Number subject equals to? Two. two. Number subject equals to? Three. Because once you have know the subjects, how many subjects have been registered, quickly you can update this attribute, right? Uh, so here you put number subject equals to 2. Uh, S capital. Eh? Okay, equals to 2. 2. Yes. Semicolon. Okay, and then the same goes for this the second method. Number subject equals to three. Yes. Because this is another information that you need to keep track, right? Number of subject being registered. And these are the two methods where you can keep track number of subject being registered. If you don't put this declaration here, number of subject equals to two, or number of subject equals to three, there is no other places where you can keep track this attribute, number of subject. Okay, so these are the only place, place where you can update this state number subject. Okay, if you don't put here, you cannot put in other methods. It means that there is no way for you to keep track number of subjects that have been registered for that uh, by that student. Okay, okay, so semicolon uh, after three, same like C. Uh, all the statements should be end with semicolon. Okay, the next behavior, register zero subject. So how? Zero subject. Zero subject means no subject, right? Okay, I want you to, I want you to, de to implement this method. Public void, register, zero subject, make it as a one word. S capital, huh? is it cap capital? Yeah. How about the parameter? Empty, right? It's an empty parameter. Means there's no information here. Close bracket. Open curly bracket. Enter a few times and close curly bracket. Okay, now you see at the, okay. No information should be supplied in the parameter, right? Because no subject. So you need to, no need to accept the name of the subject. So what need to be declared here? In, I mean, inside this method, register zero subject. Number of subject equals to zero. That's it. Don't put subject one equals to S1, subject two equals to S2. That's wrong. Okay, because zero subject means no subject. Just push it a bit to the right. Yeah? Uh, number subject equals to zero. Semicolon. Okay, so far, any question on the first three methods that you have implemented? Any question? Okay, sometimes you, you might ask me, yeah, how to know that here no parameter, here got three parameters, all these are logics that you should know. Syntax, you can memorize. Public, void, okay, and semicolon, all this you can memorize. But logic, something that you need to have by, by, by what do you call, on your own. Okay, for example, you should know. Three subject means you should be like this, you need to accept three parameters. Two subject means you need to have two parameters. Zero subject means you shouldn't have anything here. And automatically just put number of subject equals to zero. All these are zero. Uh, sorry, all these are logic. So when you write program, doesn't matter whether it is structured program or class program. Normally program consists of two main components. One is syntax, another one is logic. Syntax you can memorize. Okay, public, all these are syntax. For example, once you open 
curly bracket, you need to close. Okay, all this you can memorize. But logic, no, you cannot memorize. Something that you need to, logic is something that, a skill that you gain by doing practice. Okay, means you need to do a lot of programming questions in order to get that skill, logic. Okay, okay any question on the first three methods? Any question? Noah? Uh? So for every method, you must, it must be in open and closed curly bracket. Yes, yes. Okay, same like C. In C, every method or function in C must have called, uh, open curly bracket and close. Okay, otherwise, we, we won't know where is the opening of that method and where is the closing of that method. So now we know that this is one method, this is one method, this is one method. Okay. Okay, now we move on to the another behavior, update address. Update address. Public white. Make it one word, update address. A in address, make it capital letter. At least now you know it's update address, easy to read. Okay, if you want to update address, do you, do, you, do you need to have a parameter here? Yes or no? Update parameter means what? New address, right? New address means you need to get from the user. Means you must have a parameter because it deals with the user. Address is what? String, right? Okay, string, just put, okay, string, just put ADD -A enough space, ADD. -D. Okay, this, this is the new address, huh? Uh, close bracket, open curly bracket, enter a few times, and then close curly bracket. Eh? Okay, here, in the, in the body of the method, what you need to type in order to, uh, I mean, uh, to cancel the old address. How you can cancel the old address so that the new address can be captured? How? Anyone? Okay. Ah. Uh, okay. What you need to what you need to type here? How you can cancel the old address? Okay. So how can you how can you cancel the old address or override the old address? Old address is what this has been kept in the state address, right? Okay, that is the state of the address. The new address is been saved in parameter ADD. So how you can cancel? How you can assign this to the state address? It's quite straightforward. Anyone? Address equals to ADD. Yes, correct. Address? No. A kept small letter because when you declare the attributes, A, A was small letter. Equals to? ADD, yes. <coughs> Semicolon. Okay, now you know. Let's say the initially the address is let's say address Johor Bahru. Okay, let's say. Huh? Now, ADD is, I mean, the new address is, the user said the new address is uh, what? Kuala Lumpur. And that name been assigned to parameter ADD. So now, ADD, okay, the information kept by ADD is Kuala Lumpur. Kuala Lumpur will be assigned to address. So the old address kept by this address at state will be replaced. Replaced with this new information stored in ADD. Okay? Because user, as I told you earlier, when you have new address, user cannot directly assign that new address to the attribute. Cannot. It should be done through intermediate. That's why you have the parameter as the intermediate. Any question? No? Huh? Okay, now display. Sorry, sorry, not this place. Status. Public, white. Status. Do you, do you have any parameters here? Okay. L let us look at the scenario. Huh? Okay, so this is the action eh, for the status operation. 
will return the status of student registered if number of subject registered is more than zero. <coughs> Otherwise, deferment not registered will be returned. So if number of subject registered is more than zero, this operation will return the message registered. But if the number of subject registered is zero, then this method will return deferment not registered. So you have a, a condition, syarat. If number of subject more than zero, print or whatever it is, print registered. Else, uh, deferment not registered. Because once it's, if it's not more than zero, then of course it is. No, no. If it is more than zero, you have registered. Otherwise, differ. Okay. No need to test whether it is zero or not. Because once it is not more than zero, it means it's automatically zero. Right. Okay, another thing you should careful will return. This method will return a value. Right. Will return. And all the methods that you have written earlier, all these methods does not return a value. That's why you put white. But this method is special because it says return. Right, return. And in the body of the method, you need to have some if else statement. Okay? Okay. Okay. Can you put white here? Cannot, right? Can you put white? Cannot, because this method is going to return a value. The value is what? Registered or deferment, uh, not registered. So this is what? Integer or string or what? String. string. So this method will return a string. So you put public string status. Uh, before status, white delete, you put string. Uh, okay, another question. Do you, do you need to have any parameters? This, the me does this method deals with user? No, no right. So you just put empty parameters. Huh? Okay, open curly bracket, enter a few times. A few more times. I mean, you try to give more space huh, here. Mm. Okay. Okay, I give you a few minutes for you to write the logic here. If the subject, if number of subject is more than zero, return what message? Else, return what message? Okay, so I give you um, three, or four three or four minutes for you to try. Eh? All these are logic, eh? you should know. Okay, if means, if this condition means this return. If this condition, these are things that need to be written. Okay, I give you a few minutes. Okay, I will write down here. Okay, if number of subject is what? If, uh, just put number. If number of subject is more than zero, the message is what? Registered. But if the subject is zero means what? If number of subject equals to zero, okay, like just put not registered. Enough, make it simple. Okay, easy, yeah? If number of subject registered is more than zero, so the method will return the message registered. Otherwise, not registered. Okay, actually, when you write the if else statement, no, once you test for this, if this is false, automatically you know that the number of subject register is zero. So you actually no need to test this one. If this is false, automatically you can return this value. No need to test for the second time. Okay, because it's understood right. If this is false, automatically it should be this. Okay, give you a few minutes. Eh? Okay, try to uh, think what kind, I mean, what the quotes you need to type here, then later you can get your friend. Ten.
just repeat the last week we we doing like that. Can but you cannot put system on print line because if the method going to return a value, uh. you should have written. You cannot have system on print line. Um. Okay. Uh. Okay, you can guide your friend here. Number of subject greater than zero. Close bracket. Return what? Enter. Uh, uh, enter. Enter. Okay. Push, push a bit to the right. Okay. Return. Return. Return registered. Semicolon. Eh? Okay. Be careful when you are going to return a value which is a string. You need to have open and close quotation. The double double quotation. Eh? String. Eh? String must have that double quotation. Ah. Uh, uh, no no no. After return. After end. Ah, before R. Yes. Okay, and then uh, space. You need to have space after return. Okay. Enter. Yes, you must have. Else. Else. Return what? Return not registered. Okay, now it's correct. Semicolon. 